What's crack in YouTube? Sock Monkey coming back at you live. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Today, boys, I thought we'd take a look at some of these pre-release Cyberpunk 2077 performance reviews from Tom's Hardware uh, that they actually just posted a little bit ago. I want to say this morning they posted it when the embargo probably lifted. Uh, but I thought we'd take a look today. So if you have not checked out the recommended spec list that CD Projekt Red has released, take a look at that. Uh, they did update it, so now you're looking at an RTX 3080 required for 4K ray tracing at Ultra. And then I think recommended, uh, you're looking at a 1060 6 gig and a 1660 Super. So yeah, guys, if you have not taken a look at the recommended system requirements, go ahead and pause the video here. I went ahead and pulled it up for you guys. So I hope you enjoy that. All right, so starting out with 1080p ultra preset settings, no ray tracing. With the 3090, you're looking at 104 frames per second, and with the RTX 3080, you're looking at about 103 frames per second. But when you go to turn ray tracing on, 3090 stays around 61 frames per second, and the 3080 drops all the way down to 54. You can go ahead and take a look at ray tracing with DLSS enabled, which will be needed if you are playing with ray tracing on, in my opinion. Uh, with the 3090 at DLSS quality setting, you're looking at almost 85 frames a second average, and then coming down to the RTX 3080 with DLSS quality setting enabled, you're looking at about 80 frames per second. So there's about five frame difference when it comes to the 3090 and 3080 at 1080p ultra with ray tracing enabled and then we can go ahead and take a look at 1440p ultra no ray tracing 3090 pulls out a solid 85 frames per second with the 3080 coming in at just about 76 about the same performance decrease we saw and then with ray tracing ultra enabled 3090s got about 40 frames per second with 3080 struggling to get about 36 frames per second unfortunately and when we come down here and take a look at 1440p ray tracing with DLSS enabled the 3090 does almost pull out 80 frames per second with ultra performance mode enabled performance mode enabled you're getting about 79 and then with quality mode you're looking at about 65 and then coming down and looking at the RTX 3080 DLSS quality mode enabled, you're looking at about 59 frames per second, just under that 60 frames per second average, unfortunately. And then we can also take a quick look at 4K ultra settings. 3080 struggles down here with ray tracing ultra. Almost in the single digits uh, average. And then 3090 4K ray tracing ultra doesn't even hit 20 frames average and then without DLSS enabled they're both over 40 with the RTX coming in at 40.6 frames average and the RTX 3090 at 46 average and then you can also take a quick look at their 4k DLSS with ray tracing so coming down here to this part of the article Tom's hardware does talk about the fact that reflections uh, do not work at all times and you're not able to see your character's reflection in the city as you can see in the screenshot right here you can see the bike kind of muddled out but the character is not there at all and we come down here and he talks about uh, the fact that if you want to see your reflection in a mirror with your character you have to go into a bathroom and go up to a mirror and turn the mirror on um, apparently reflections in the game were causing uh, frame drops heavily down into the single digits um, so I think that's probably why CD Projekt Red decided to not put ray tracing reflections in as heavily as some other games such as Watch Dogs Legions probably just due to the fact that it took such a, a large performance hit it wasn't worth it at the end of the day and that's probably what CD Projekt Red is thinking here especially with an open world game like this that they've been working on for eight years. So hopefully with some of the performance issues, especially with ray tracing at 1440p, hopefully a day one patch will fix some of those up, especially with the reflection issue as well. Uh, maybe with a day one patch we will see our character's reflection put into the game. But until then, hopefully you guys do enjoy the video. Have fun, wait in the next 72 hours for the game to come out. I'll see you guys next time. Peace!